Hello everyone, welcome back to AY Military Channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been making rounds of the defense and aviation world a mysterious kill switch and a never-ending hassle of operating the F-35 fighter jet. Is the world's most advanced stealth fighter being secretly controlled? Is it really as problematic as people say? Stick around and let's find out. All right, let's start with the elephant in the room, the so-called kill switch. What does that even mean? Well, in simple terms, a kill switch is a remote shutdown mechanism that allows the manufacturer or operator to disable a system. In the case of the F-35, there have been concerns that the US government or Lockheed Martin could have built a backdoor to disable the aircraft remotely, especially if it's being used by foreign militaries. This has caused a stir, particularly among countries that have purchased the F-35, like Turkey, Japan, and even allies like the UK and Australia. Imagine spending billions on a fighter jet, only to worry that it could be shut down if Washington decides to flip the switch. But is the kill switch real? Well, there's no official confirmation. Lockheed Martin has denied the allegations, stating that no such mechanism exists. However, Skeptics argue that the F-35's complex software and reliance on continuous updates from the U.S. make it highly dependent on American oversight. One key factor is the Autonomic Logistics Information System, ALICE, now replaced by ODIN. This system essentially acts as the brain of the F-35, handling maintenance, mission data, and even flight logs. Without access to ALICE or ODIN, maintaining and operating the jet becomes nearly impossible. Could this be a form of a kill switch in itself? That's where the debate gets interesting. Now. Even if we put the kill switch theory aside, operating the F-35 is no walk in the park. Despite being one of the most advanced fighters in history, it comes with a fair share of headaches. Let's break it down. The F-35 is often called a flying computer, and that's not an exaggeration. With over 8 million lines of code, software glitches have been a major issue. From sensor misreads to communication errors, pilots have faced everything from minor bugs to mission-critical failures. Software updates are frequent, but they often introduce new problems or require extensive testing before deployment. The F-35 requires an insane amount of upkeep. For every hour it flies, it needs multiple hours of maintenance. Plus, spare part shortages have made things even worse. Unlike older jets, the F-35 relies heavily on a global supply chain. If one part of that chain is disrupted, entire fleets can be grounded. This has been a big issue, especially during global crises. It's no secret that the F-35 is one of the most expensive military programs in history. Each jet costs around $80 million, but the real financial burden comes with its operational costs. The cost per flight hour is significantly higher than legacy aircraft, straining defense budgets worldwide. Global military impact. One, political dependence. Countries that buy the F-35 aren't just getting a jet. They're signing up for long-term dependence on the U.S. for software updates, spare parts, and training. This gives Washington significant leverage in global military affairs. Two, rival responses. Meanwhile, countries like China and Russia are pushing their own stealth fighter programs. The J-20 and Su-57 are seen as direct competitors, and some nations are considering alternative options to reduce reliance on the U.S. Three, future of air combat. With emerging technologies like drone swarms and AI-powered jets, the question remains how long will the F-35 stay relevant? And will its technological dependence ultimately be its biggest weakness? Four, the cybersecurity threat. Another major concern is cybersecurity. The F-35's reliance on digital systems makes it a prime target for cyber attacks. In fact, 
In the past decade, there have been multiple reports of foreign hacking attempts trying to gain access to the jet's software and classified data. The question is how secure is it really? 5. Pilot Training and Psychological Stress Being an F-35 pilot is no easy feat. The complexity of the systems means that training takes longer than with previous generations of fighter jets. On top of that, the high workload in combat scenarios can lead to pilot fatigue and stress, raising concerns about long-term performance. 6. The Cost versus Performance Debate One of the biggest debates around the F-35 is whether it's truly worth its price tag. Some critics argue that while it's technologically impressive, it's not as dominant in dogfights as older jets like the F-22. So, is the F-35 really the ultimate war machine, or is it just an overpriced compromise? additional challenges and emerging concerns. The program involves multiple partner nations and logistics can be a nightmare. Delays in production, supply chain bottlenecks and technical challenges have caused setbacks in fleet readiness. Even the most advanced jet is useless if it can't be properly maintained and deployed. Stealth and survivability in modern warfare. While the F-35 boasts advanced stealth capabilities, evolving radar and missile technologies may reduce its advantage over time. Countries are developing anti-stealth radars, which could challenge the jet's effectiveness in future conflicts. Despite being a fifth-generation fighter, the F-35 needs to seamlessly operate alongside older jets, drones, and ground forces. Ensuring compatibility with various weapon systems and communication networks remains a challenge, especially for allied nations with mixed fleets. Conclusion So what's the final verdict? Is the kill switch real? While there's no solid proof, the way the F-35 is designed does create a high-level reliance on the U.S. And when it comes to operational headaches, there's no denying that the F-35 is a beast both in combat and in complexity. But hey, that's the price of cutting-edge technology, right? What do you guys think? Is the F-35 worth the trouble or is it too much of a liability? Let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into military tech. See you in the next one.